Today I'm going to explain what's new with new electrical outlets and why it's important to consider replacing your old ones. So stick around. Hey gang, Animated Joe here. And if you've seen new electrical outlets, you'll notice they have these blockages at the inserts. And the idea behind this is to reduce electrocution possibility. You see with a new TR outlet, you can't stick things in the holes. And that's really important for child safety. We don't want kids getting electrocuted by sticking their fingers in the outlets. However, you can still take a normal plug, stick it in the outlet, and it's gonna work just fine. So the big push for these outlets is child safety. However, your old outlets go bad, so you might as well replace them with new tamper resistant outlets. In my case, I found this outlet in my house that was damaged. You can see this bolt here in the opening. So it's a good thing I went ahead and replaced it. To replace the outlet, it's real simple. Here's how you do it. First things first, you wanna kill power to that outlet. So you go ahead and flip the breaker, make sure power is dead. Then what you do is you're gonna back off the cover plate. Real simple, one screw. Then you're going to remove the two mounting screws. There's one at the bottom and there is one at the top. Now the outlet can come out. Now to remove the wires, we take a small screwdriver and stick them in these little holes behind the wires and then pull the wire out. Comes right out. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, remove the wires. Then we need to take a Phillips head screwdriver, loosen that to remove the ground wire. Now we have our wires free. We take our new outlet. We start by installing the ground screw by screwing it down. And then we're gonna take the white wire, which is a neutral, and install it on the silver side. We stick it in the quick snap hole. Then we're gonna take the black wire and we're gonna do the same thing on the gold side, stick it in the quick connection hole. And there we go. As an alternative, you can make a loop in the wire and install it on these screws here like we did the ground wire. Stick the outlet back into the box and we go ahead and install the mounting screws and we tighten them till it is nice and snug. Then we take our cover plate, we screw that back on, and we're going to put our electrical tester back on, and we're gonna turn on the power, make sure it works. There you go, it's that simple. So if this is helpful, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.